As you know, the theory of the Big Bang in its first form was proposed by Monsignor Lemaitre, who was a priest and physicist, and also Albert Einstein's close friend. He was also the first chancellor of the Pontiff Academy of Science. This theory was well accepted in Catholic thinking, but for many people, it's about how the world was created. When in reality, the Big Bang talks about the origin of the universe, but origin is not creation. St. Thomas said that he did not deny the idea of an eternal universe that was created because it would have needed a creator who maintained it in its existence. Origin and creation are two different things. So where did this Big Bang idea come from? Actually, it came from a priest. Georges Lemaitre, a Belgian priest, was the first person, I think around 1931, to come up with the idea that the universe appeared from a giant nucleus that decayed. And as it decayed, like, a nucle like nuclei do, you know, radioactivity does that, um, then uh, it actually became the universe that we know today. Now, in 1948, a Russian-American physicist called Georges Gamov, a great genius, I think, uh, came up with this idea that the universe had a very hot beginning and that it's been expanding ever since. And immediately some people from England really disliked this very much and came up with a rival idea called the steady state universe. No, no, the universe has existed forever. It has never been created. It doesn't have a beginning because this sounds too much like religion. We don't like this stuff, you know, make the universe live forever. And uh, this debate between the steady state universe and the Big Bang model lived until the mid-60s when, for the first time, a prediction made by Gamov and his collaborators...